Hi friends, it's Deanna Bliston with our Blooming Catholic Life and it's Friday. So it is time for our last look at our Lexio passage for this week. Um, let's grab our journal, say our opening prayers and then jump right in. We have the, we're in Luke chapter nine, I think it's verses 35 and 36. Oh, Right. I had to do a, did find my prayer sweater. It's over there. Prayer sweater. We've been talking so much about recollection. Does anybody remember the prayer sweater? I'm just going to go grab it. It's literally just a prayer that I put on when I'm really, and I think I just didn't have the language for it. When I need to recollect myself, gather myself all in so that I can make um, really focus on the Lord and make my life a sacrifice to him. And this kind of signifies it, but there's something different about putting this on. There's a feel to it. It's a very particular sweater. It's not every sweater. It's this particular one. And when I put it on, it does, it calms my soul. When I get ready to do the first Saturday's uh, radio show, sometimes I'm very hyper and Bridget will be like, oh, you forgot your prayer sweater this time. And it's true. I can get so excited and sometimes anxious, but more usually it's more just excitement. You know, the times I tend to talk very fast. Um, I feel like the prayer swear does something. It's a particular feel. We're very sensory. People are sensory. So putting that on does help. <sighs> Taking a deep breath is also okay. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Sume glorioso Dea, Illumina tenebras cordis mehi, et da mihi fidem rectum, spem certain et caritatem perfectum, domini ut facium tuum sanctum et verax mandatum. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. And that prayer always does help Give me just a little bit more recollection. What am I doing? Ask for all the graces that I need for this, that I may grow from this exercise. And a voice came out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son, hear him. And while the voice was uttered, Jesus was found alone and they held their peace. And no man in those days, and told no man in those days, any of these things which they had seen. And a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. And whilst the voice was uttered, Jesus was found alone. And they held their peace and told no man in those days any of the things which they had seen. And a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. And while the voice was uttered, Jesus was found alone. And they held their peace and told no man in those days any of these things which they had seen. And there is a side reference, let's see here, I to the second letter of Peter, 1 through 17. That's an interesting one. It almost never refers us to letters. Is that second letter 17? Just the 17? Yeah, second letter of Peter, 1 17. Okay. For he received from God the Father honor and glory, this voice coming to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Well, let's let's read that in context just a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> I had a snack right before I started and there was a crumb on my face and I'm just very self-conscious. I'm recollected, but now I keep going. So I apologize. Okay. Let's come in. Oh, let's just start the first chapter. It's so small, really, right? Simon Peter, servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained equal faith with us in the justice of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace be accomplished in the knowledge of God and in Christ Jesus our Lord, as all things of his divine power, which appertain to life and godliness, are given us through the knowledge of him who hath called us by his own proper glory and virtue, by whom he hath given us us great and precious promise that by these you may be partakers of the divine nature, flying the corruption that concupiscence which is in this world, and you employing all care, minister in your faith, virtue, and in virtue, knowledge, and in knowledge, abstinence, and in abstinence, patience, and in patience, godliness, and in godliness, love of brotherhood, and love of brotherhood, charity. 
For if these things be with you and abound, they will make you to be neither empty nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he hath not these things with him as blind, and groping, having forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, brethren, labor the more, that by good works you may make sure your calling and election. For doing these things you shall not sin at any time. For so an entrance shall be ministered to you abundantly in the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For which cause I will begin to put you always in remembrance of these things, though indeed you know them and are confirmed in the present truth. But I think it meet, as long as I am in the tabernacle, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, being assured that laying away of this my tabernacle is at hand, according as our Lord Jesus Christ also signified to me. And I will endeavor that you frequently have after my decrease, whereby you may keep a memory of these things. For you have not fallen art- artificial fables made to you the power and presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his greatness. For he received from God the Father honor and glory, this voice coming down to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And this voice we heard brought from heaven when we were with him on the holy mount. And we have the more firm prophetical word, whereunto you do well to attend, as to a light that shineth in the dark place, until the day dawn, and the day star arise in your hearts. Understanding this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is made by private interpretation. For prophecy came not by the will of man at any time, but the holy men of God spoke, inspired by the Holy Ghost. I love that imagery, friends, of the light. You have to work to keep it shining. Um, You know, like a candle, you could kind of light a candle and let it go. Um, Do they have candles at this particular time? I don't know. They talk about lamps a lot and oil lamps. I remember my mom had, do you remember those hurricane lamps from the 70s and 80s? It really had a reservoir. It was a glass lamp, had a reservoir of oil and there was a wick on it. And the wick was like, it was like woven cotton and you had to put it in a certain way, and there was this little screw, and as you turned it, it would raise it up, and then you would cut off the burnt off part. And as the night went on, you would actually have to turn it to keep more wick up so that there would be enough wick for there to burn, but you also had to make sure there was enough wick down in the oil because it was wicking up the oil. That's literally what the wick was doing, pulling the oil up so that it could be burned, but then you had to get rid of the old part, and you couldn't let it get too ashy because that could be dangerous. And there was a lot of maintenance required of that light. You certainly wouldn't leave it lit and leave the room. (laughs) You would attend to that light faithfully, making sure it would still work and you would carry it with you wherever you went. Now think of that, of the flame of the Holy Spirit inside you. How are you going to keep care of it? Well, you're going to have to keep going back. You're going to have to keep refreshing it. You may have to refresh the oil, right? And you're going to have to tend to it and make sure that it is kept pure and well fed. And that good work is going to be the light that you give to the world in this instance. Gives you something to think about. You have been given this great gift. What are you going to do with it? How are you going to take care of it? And how are you going to share it? That's a lot for a Friday night. So I'm going to leave it there, friends. Um, oh, Let's say it in Latin in the back of our prayer journal. Uh, in nomine patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen. Benedicat tibi dominus et custodiat te. Ostenta dominus facit. Start again. <laughs> Too excited. Benedicat tibi dominus et custodiat te. Ostenta dominus facium sum tibi et miserator tui. Convert at Dominus Voltum Sum Ad Te, et Dominus Bonus Det Tibi Pacem, Nomini Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. God bless you, friends.